So in today's video, I am going to revisit ring barrel spigot installation. And uh, uh, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, a while back, I installed or replaced a broken spigot from one of our ring barrels. This one is the only one in our three barrel that features a full uh, brass construction. So um, the other two started to fail. And as you can see, we already get Got all the waters out because they started to leak and the water flow is not as good compared to the the rain pool which is like the best rain barrel spigot you can get it's like it flows so good it's a quarter turn um ball bearing so extremely durable it's gonna last you forever now we installed one of those my wife told me hey it's time to replace the other two and that is the reason for this video we are going to install two brand new ring barrel spigot also from the same company that i uh, got my first one on so if you guys are interested in the first installation video which um, i uh, i offered some tips on how to get the ring barrel spigot installed uh, depending on different uh, ring barrel constructions the ring pole model number rbs 022 brass ring barrel spigot this one is lead free compliant so when it says lead free it means it's got less than 0.25% of lead um, within this brass um, design. So it's okay for portable water um, as they claim, but again, we're not using this for portable water. We're just using it for rain barrels uh, for our plants. Um, despite that fact, it's it, it's got very little lead. It still have a warning for, you know, for lead for state of California. Pretty much everything to state of California is, is cancer causing. So um, this warning has become, you know, pretty much useless. Um, so it's sold by a company called oldegg.com. I guess it's a, it's a fun spin on the uh, the IT website New Egg, uh, but it just it's just interesting. So it's, it's designed in Connecticut, uh, USA and made in China. Uh, the company's oh the heck innovations <laughs> uh, pretty funny um, so the features uh, of course lead free compliant quarter turn ball valve that I just mentioned super easy to use super easy to turn stainless steel screws and it's got an aluminum handle um, I think I think they're talking about the, the turning mechanism which is aluminum because the actual handle, at least on this one, I think it's it's plastic. So we we'll have to find out about the the new one. Uh, recessed gasket, which you know you install from the inside and the outside, and then you tighten them together. So it it kind of just pulls the inside out. And uh, garden hose threaded. So yes, obviously you can hook up a hose. Um, but again, we just use you know the um, we just use the the, the barrels. So that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna open up the package and we're gonna start installation on the other two rain barrels. So for my rain barrel, uh, it's easy to access because we already had the hole uh, right here. So I'm just gonna take them out. And basically it's got, it's got three parts. So this is the part that you have to find a way to put inside the rain barrel. And what you do is you use a, uh, a fishing wire or any other kind of wire you just to hook it up here and then drop it down there. Somehow you can catch the wire that you hooked from here, top to the bottom. You catch the wire from the, the front side. Once you catch that wire, you pull it out and it's, it's gonna pull this little thread out. When you have that thread out, you're gonna put this little pressed or this, this piece, which is the cap for the thread, um, screw it on the inside part and it's gonna tighten the whole thing and once you have this two part tightened the last step is pretty much just to turn this this part screw the 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 actual spigot into the thread from the the inside that you got out so as you can see the three parts over here it's all exposed this is the the cap that you tighten for the inside part which is, sticks out from here and the spigot goes to the part from the inside. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, easy installation, and I'm sure it's gonna provide a much better, you know, construction compared to this one, which my wife said it's, you can see as, the, as it ages, it leaks pretty bad. So we're gonna actually just take this one out. It's gonna 
I eat a little more. Um, but that's all the water we collected so far. Worry no more, it's going to have a better spigot for sure. So this is uh, what's inside the box. Um, I am actually plentifully surprised they have updated their design from their last generation of the rain spigot. So the two new ones that I'm going to install is going to be much, much better than the original one they put out. So let me show you guys what they have done to upgrade this uh, new spigot. Okay, and the cost is actually still the same, so which I think is a great value. As I mentioned, um, aluminum handle, so they did upgrade the handle to a full aluminum handle. Much, much more durable. Much, much more durable, okay? Uh, again, still lead-free um, brass design. And what they did is they also included two new spacers in between the ring barrel and uh, the, um, the thread from inside. So now it's got, uh, it's got the spacer. So, this will actually enhance the leak protection um, for the long run. It's gonna seal much, much better. Now, another thing that I found is they also included very generously a nice roll of Teflon tape. This is what they didn't do uh, last time. So my installation doesn't have any Teflon tape for the old one, but it haven't been leaking. So fingers crossed it's gonna last us a little longer and when it starts to leak I'm gonna just take it out and put some Teflon tape on it also included is a instruction video over here let's see so add pretty much just whatever I said you know um, rubber gasket uh, right here stays in the groove barrel wall fits here and the plastic gasket over here here. So yes, they did improve the design and actually the whole thing feels uh, feels more more steady and more stable than the, the old one. Okay, so let's go up here and I'm going to show you guys all the tools needed. So very simple. Oh, dizzy. Um, okay, fishing wire, as I mentioned, you're going to fish and hook the, the, the inside part and drop it in there. Okay. A scissor to cut your fishing wire and a wrench to wrench on the, the thread from here to tighten it and also to wrench the, um, the little spigot onto the thread okay reverse threaded I think they had a reverse threaded nut so turn clockwise to loosen and see instructional video blah 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 so if you guys actually just follow that instructional video you shouldn't have any issue installing this okay all right, so uh, we're ready for the installation. Um, I have all the tools right here. We have the fishing wires that I'm gonna use to uh, actually, you know, fish the, the internal thread, drop it down into the barrel, and then hook it up from uh, from the bottom. We also have the spigot ready. For the spigot, we're gonna actually apply three rounds of Teflon tape according to instruction. So we're just gonna tape it a little bit. So remember, three rounds at least. So this prevents um, prevents leaking if it's got any, but it should be good enough. So right here, and so the spigot is ready to go. And also keep in mind, you want the rubber gasket inside for the one that goes in here. The plastic gasket, they, th they said it's optional, so you, you don't really have to use it, but again, I'm gonna use the gasket just for a better fit. Um, so we're gonna start the, get the fishing wire ready. We're gonna hook the fishing wire inside here, and we're gonna make kind of a long loop. So I mean, you can cut it down and then you know tie a loop over there, or if you don't want to tighten it down, see I'm, with it. I'm just gonna drop it in here, and then I'm gonna go to the front and try to hook it from the front, and which shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so let's see. Let's find it from. My wife probably have to help me a little. Let's see. Actually, maybe not. Should be okay. 
Oh, so I jump to the bottom. And you guys come over here. I'll show you guys how easy it is. You see inside, once you have the little wire hooked, it pretty much just drops to the center. And all you have to do, hook it out. I mean, use your finger to grab it out. Right here. You guys see, it's right here. So I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna actually just get the fishing wire out, hopefully. But I need to make sure it's fully out first. All right, right here. So now I'm gonna pull the fishing wire out if I can. And leave it inside. But this is how I do it. Many other people have many different ways. If your barrel is empty, some people just drop it in here and then hook it, you know, when it's rolled on the side, you can easily fish it out. Next step should be the easy part. You have the locking nut and I'm gonna get the plastic fitting over here. I'm getting the plastic fitting right there and then we're gonna just uh, use the locking nut to tighten it and I think they said it's counterclockwise reverse threaded nut. Yep, very much so. Oh, wrong side. Uh, make sure the, the locking, make sure this part is facing out. And we're pretty much almost done, okay? That's how easy it is. If you don't have the hole drilled, you probably have one extra step of drilling the hole, but that's, that's pretty much it. Now, use your wrench. Counterclockwise for the locking nut. it's nice and tightened so it doesn't leak water this should be good enough now we're gonna install this gently because you don't want to squeeze metal parts they said turn it 90 degrees but I'm just gonna try to align it somehow and have it facing downwards and get everything tightened almost there okay now this thing is pretty damn tight right now so test it when there's water, it's not gonna leak. It's very nicely fitted. If you guys look, the washer actually keeps everything from you know moving around. And right now it's it's very secure, very securely fitted. So that's how you install the spigot. And again, compared to the old one, the biggest improvement is they actually included an extra plastic washer for the outside to prevent you know possible leaking. They also included free Teflon tapes for the spigot. So um, again, to prevent further leaking, but the original design was already good enough. So I'm pretty sure this one is gonna last you pretty much a lifetime. Um, and of course, if you guys see the last one over here, we're not gonna do it today because this one haven't been leaking. As you can see, there's no sign of leakage. So I am gonna wait until you know when it's time to replace it and we're gonna actually drop the the brand new thing uh spigot on here but for now this one works and the reason another reason i don't want to replace it is because the threading is much smaller so if i need to replace this one or this barrel i have to drill a larger hole which you know i don't want to do at this point and of course this is the second time that i'm installing this and i'm surprised that they improve they improved the design so um, if you guys have any questions about the installation feel free to ask me in the comment section down below otherwise i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please do hit the like button or subscribe and i should have more similar videos coming out for you guys okay so i'll see you guys next video take care